Hi, Shavrak here, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 9 of Public Match of the Day. So I'm going to briefly go over our lineup here. Uh, we have Trey Bone. He's running the Human Male Vanguard. Um, he's basically going to be causing some biotic explosions here and there. Uh, he's got a Scorpion, which is a great crowd control weapon. He's running the crowd rounds with that, so uh, you know the Scorpion is really good at delivering the effect, depending on what the ammo type is, whether it's incendiary ammo or cryo ammo. It's really good at causing that effect. And uh, in this case, Cryo is really good for slowing the enemies down, and he's great with the crowd control. So uh, that's basically the role he's playing. I'm running the Corian Marksman. Uh, it's probably the second or third time I've used this character. Um, I'm basically trying to make the Typhoon good again with this character. Uh, Marksman allows me to double the fire rate. Uh, I'm going to talk a bit more about that after I uh, go over UK Resistance's uh, uh, loadout here. Uh, he's basically running the Juggernaut. He's uh, basically being the, the sponge, right? He's going to tra track the aggro and kind of create a little wall between the enemies and us, uh, giving us a little relief and a little bit of breathing space. Uh, he's got the particle rifle with incendiary rounds, um, strength enhancer 3, cyclonic modulator fa uh, 4, and the Geth scanner. So it's a pretty, pretty standard loadout for the Geth uh, Juggernaut soldier. Uh, Less Than Hero is running the Vorchus soldier. And he's basically just going to be using his flamer to melt whatever hovers around our Geth Juggernaut and whatever else is around. Um, he's got the Hurricane, so uh, with the power amplifier, which is great, adding that 30% to the flamer. Uh, AP rounds and uh, whatever else he's got there, basically, you know, standard Vorcha build. Um, now I want to take a moment to talk a bit about the Typhoon. So basically, what I'm doing here is I've added the piercing mod and the heavy barrel. And I got armor piercing rounds four and an assault rail amp three. And so what I'm doing is I got a uh, tax scan, which I'm basically hitting the enemy with tax scan, which has a very, very fast recharge rate. And then I'm going straight into my marksman ability, which gives me a 50% bonus to my fire rate. So I don't know if you guys remember uh, the Typhoon before the nerf, but I could use it with very minimal upgrades. Uh, I didn't need to use, uh, you know, marksman, for example, to make it good. Um, in this case, I, I still, with all these bells and whistles that I've added to it, I, I don't feel that it is even half the weapon it used to be, which is quite sad because it was a very enjoyable weapon to use. We don't have a lot of ARs that are platinum worthy, and uh, that definitely was one that was. And it's really sad that, I mean, it, you can make it work, but it wasn't as pleasant as it was. Uh, it was a really pleasant weapon to use, and I really, really miss it, and it's... It's really too bad to see it go the way it did with uh, with the nerf and all. Well, anyways, you know what they say. Ignorance is, is bliss. And uh, to all you out there that didn't experience this weapon before it was nerfed, I envy you because you don't know what you're missing. I really wish that I didn't because whenever I use this weapon now or even see the weapon when I'm choosing my weapons, it just kind of puts my stomach in a knot. So, uh, long story short, pre-nerfed Typhoon, you will be missed. Well, anyways, uh, that was my rant about the Typhoon. So, I, I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. Uh, I thank you for your views. Uh, thank you for all your support. Uh, you guys have been great. And until next time, take care.
dropping. This is an intel-rich base. Find that data terminal and gain access. Terminal Fire reach in progress, so stay close to finish Let the job. Move!
for reports. Crack the security on the exposed data terminal. Yes, understood. Move on!